We're super excited to have Allison Faulkner with us today for the Global Growth Summit. Allison Faulkner of The Allison Show has made a career as a branding and event expert with a highly engaged online community. She hosts an iTunes Top 100 podcast and founded Allison's Brand School which has helped thousands through workshops and online courses that empower entrepreneurs with the heart to build a brand that can support their dreams. Allison collaborates and consults with Fortune 500 companies and believes in love, dancing inappropriately, and putting your own name in lights. Here's Allison to tell you how to get people to care about what you have to say or sell. I love her segment and you will too. Hello, I am Allison from The Allison Show, and I am so excited to be a part of Weave's Business Growth Summit. And honestly, I just want to say, hey, good job for showing up. I know how hard it can be to show up, especially when it's time to invest in yourself, especially when it's time to invest in your business. And I know that you guys have so much going on, and that's why I'm so excited to deliver this message to you today. I am going to be talking to you about how to get people to care about what you have to say or sell. Because here's what I believe. I know that you have an incredible product, an incredible message, something awesome to share with the world, but if you can't get people to care about it, it, it really sucks, right? So here's what you need to know about me. I'm not sane, and I think maybe that was pretty apparent from the first sentence out of my mouth, but I am awesome. And that is what I have made a business and a career doing is first, helping people feel they're awesome. I believe you're already as awesome as you need to be, but so often we just don't feel it. So that is a huge part of what I do, and I'll share with you how I do that. And the other thing that I do is I work with entrepreneurs, Fortune 500 companies, and honestly people all across the country doing keynotes and wor workshops, training them how to do what they feel called to do and how to build engaging, impactful brands. So how did I do this? Why should you trust me? I have been getting people to care about what I have to say and sell for a long time. So here you can see um, I've got a podcast called Awesome with Allison. Nearly 4 million people care about this podcast and listen to this podcast. I've taken it on tour. I've worked with companies like Alaska Airlines. I teach branding workshops, uh, just in case you want to check out my podcast. It's really good. The goal of it is that you feel a little more awesome each time you listen. And um, I also have hosted all female dance parties in the past. And so really, I've been doing this for 12 years. And I've been completely self-started, completely self-funded. So really, I've worked in so many different uh, areas of business, um, in bricks and mortar stores, uh, online retail, as an influencer, as an online marketer. I work as a keynote speaker, doing keynotes everywhere. And regardless of what I'm doing, regardless of what's happening, regardless of what I'm selling, I've had people care about what I have to say and what I have to sell. And as I have cash flow and payroll and all of the things that come with really building a small business and growing my team, I've been able to see how I've taken that for granted, that people care what I have to say, that keep people care and are excited about the products I have to sell. And I don't take that for granted anymore. In fact, I don't take it for granted. I'm leaning in and I'm really paying attention to, like, am I just a genius? <laughs> or, or what did I do correctly so that over the past 12 years, regardless of if I am doing craft shows, throwing all-female dance parties, I've sold cookie courses, throwing birthday parties for my kids, doing birthday parties for events, uh, corporations like Microsoft. Regardless of that, what is it that I've done that has made people care and interested about what I have to say and sell? And over the last four years, I've really thought about that, and then I started Allison's Brand School. Now I host branding workshops all over. I do them for companies. I have online courses about influencers, and I have online courses about building your Instagram. Because to me, it's so much fun to build what I love but even more fun to empower other people to be able to do it too. And like I said, that theme, that thing I've been looking at is, how was I able to do this over the last 12 years? Um, I've, like I said, I've gone from making like 
patterns for baby clothes, crafts, bows. And the reason I'm sharing this is because I've gone from vertical to vertical to vertical. I helped pay for the down payment. I paid for the down payment on our house with my Allison's cookie party, how to make the perfect sugar cookies. And I pay for my team with teaching people how to grow on Instagram. And this is what I believe all along the way is I'm not just here to build a business. I'm here to impact the world. And that's what I believe the job of marketing is. That's what I believe the job of a small business person is. You're not just here to do what you feel called to do. You're here to impact the world. Think about it, marketing campaigns, they're what drive politics, they're what drive like the world vision. We know that business and politics and moving the economy forward, they all go hand in hand. And that's what I wanna challenge you to think about today. How do you wanna impact the world? I know you wanna grow your business. I believe you can build a beautiful life and make tons of money. But more than that, how can we impact the world? And I believe that we can impact the world by helping people care about what we have to say and sell. And I've got three tactical tips that you're gonna take away today. So at the end of this, today, the next marketing message, the next Instagram post, the next email, the next interaction you have with a customer today, you're gonna be able to implement it. Ooh, I'm feeling good. It's feeling really good. Okay, a brand is all about adding value. So, I am a branding expert. I don't pretend to be an expert in anything else. The reason I claim to be a branding expert is because regardless of my vertical, regardless of my business model, I have taken an audience with me for 12 years. Of course not everybody stays around, but when I teach my How to Build an Awesome Brand workshop, I have people there who read my first blog, which was, she blogs, she blogs, <laughs> like Ricky Martin, she bangs, she bangs. And I wanna break your brain open a little bit to help you realize that what we're talking about today is not just SEO and ROI, and that's, it just depends where your brain's at. Like Some people love that type of business, the spreadsheets and seeing those direct exchanges. Brand is al value add. Just like this conference Weave is doing, this is a value add, right? And what I'm talking about today, how to get people, how to care, what you have to say and s like say or sell, that requires a value add. People don't wanna do business with people who, ha who have what they want. They wanna do business with people who care about and believe what they believe, yes? So a brand is all about adding value, and in order to have people care about what you have to say, we need to add that value. So how do we do that? Like Montel Jordan, this is how we do it. You're welcome for that reference. I just wanted to make sure you're not bored. We can be serious business people and reference Montel Jordan, yes? That's my dream, that's my dream. Three tips, are you ready? Get your notebooks out. Okay, let's all do this together. Everybody take a deep breath in. And out, you have everything you need to create the business of your dreams. You have everything you need to reach those goals. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some awesome tips and takeaways with you. If they serve you, make a goal to implement them. If they don't serve you, just put them to the side. And here's the first of the three, you have to care. In order to get people to care about what you have to say or sell, you have to care. Just think about that. Uh, duh, Allison, of, of course. <laughs> of course I have to care. No, how do you really care? Why wouldn't some of us care? How does it serve us? Let's ask that real question. How does it serve you not to care? Caring is freaking vulnerable. How? emotional and personal is a small business, a bricks and mortar business, the marketing pieces you put out. So I do these branding workshops everywhere and I work with hundreds and hundreds of people. I speak keynotes to thousands of people. So what I'm saying is I talk to a lot of people and I find that people fall into one of two camps. And the first camp is they over identify and care so much, right? So I want you to say, is that the camp I fall in? Okay, and then the other camp is they don't make it personal and they don't care. So if you fall into that, to that camp of not making it personal and not tying any sort of attachment to it, 
I want you to ask yourself why. And how does it serve you? Sure, it keeps you safe. You don't have to be vulnerable. But remember, people want to do business with people who believe what they believe. Nobody knows what you believe if you don't tell them. Jeff Bezos, you know that, that Amazon guy, he says, your brand is what people say about you when you're not in the room, right? What are you saying? What are you sharing? Are you sharing anything or are you just selling it people? Are you just being transactional with people? And if you care too much, that serves you in the negative because it makes you feel like you care, it makes you feel important, but it actually holds you back from really going after what you want and really being fearless in your business, okay? Because fear, you're making it about you. I heard somebody the other day say this and I thought it was so interesting about confidence. There's like, there's no magic wand to confidence. And I was like, Matt, no, I have a magic wand to confidence. <laughs> and my magic wand for confidence is stop thinking about yourself. You have to care. So when I was getting ready to do this growth summit and I'm like, how do I serve these people? I can't see them. I genuinely care about what you feel called to build and what you're sharing and I care. So here's my two tips, how you today can implement this idea of caring so that you can have people then in turn care about what you have to say and sell. And the first tip is to connect to how your product or service fulfills you. So let me tell you how I do this. Um, I work in branding. I, I write brand decks for other people, so I've got lots of brand decks. I do a lot of why work myself. So when I am so sick of writing yet another sales email, when I am so sick of having to pitch another company for this service and I just feel like I'm telling them my life story and it's a waste of time, I go back to my why. Why am I doing this? And the reason I do what I do is I told you. I want to help people feel as awesome as they are, and then I want to empower them to be able to do something with it. Okay? So when I sit down to write an email, when I sit down to write a social media post, when I go to that place, how it's fulfilling me, I am able to write such an effective email and such a more effective um, Instagram piece. I'm better able to interact with customers and clients one-on-one -on -one and do that customer service regardless of what type of business. Knowing how it serves and fulfills you helps you tie back to caring about the work you're doing. So I want to challenge you to take some time today and really think about that. And the second way that you can care more is connect to how your product or service eases suffering in your customer. We are in the midst of both a suicide and loneliness epidemic. I want to point out this word connection. Connection is a fundamental human need. We need to connect. And when you sit down and you think about how your product or service, I don't care if you sell Frisbees. Frisbees enable people to have fun. I don't care if you clean te people's teeth. People need clean teeth. People are scared to go to the dentist, right? And you think about how you can ease suffering and how you can empower them in your day, that is always gonna help you care. And remember, when you care, in turn, people care about what you have to say and sell. Vulnerability, you have, you have to have vulnerability in order to trust. That's Brene Brown, queen goddess, Brene Brown, okay? You have to be vulnerable first. You have to care first. Why? Because you want to say something and you want to sell something. Okay, our second tip, you have to be clear. You have to be clear. Can you tell someone what your business does in one sentence? Ooh, ah, uh, na 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 na. This is much harder said, like much easier said than done. So. Here's how this works. If you can tell someone what you do in one sentence, then everyone on your team can tell someone what they do in one sentence. And then when somebody at the grocery store strikes up a conversation and asks them about that awesome workshop or that service you have coming up, your team member or you clearly state it. Everyone toes the line. So if you can't do this or you use words like just, or any other modifier, I want to challenge you to work on that today, okay? And like a pair of shoes, you're not going to know what that one sentence is until you just start trying one. So stop trying to make it so perfect and jargony, ugh, gag. Okay, the second tip for being clear, 
Oh wait, oh everybody calm, everybody calm down. We're gonna have to moonwalk back through the presentation. Okay, you have to be clear. <laughs> I'm, I'm already so excited about the other parts. You need to take that clear intention and use it in each message. I want to challenge you that each message should have one objective. Each message should have one priority. So the other day, I had someone who sells these decks of cards that enable, um, that empower people who have suffered from sexual assault. And she told me she was going to be doing this uh, series of videos online to educate people on safety. And she said to me, how do I better sell my cards when I'm doing that educational um, video series? And I said to her, what is your intention with this video series? And she said, well, and, and I know her because I've coached her and worked with her. She's attended my workshops. And I said, I know you and I know that you actually Yes, you want to sell cards and you want to move the needle and, and you have your numerical goals. Those are all great, your quantitative goals. I'm like, but the value add, the intention of that video series is to empower people on, on how to be safer. So keep that as the intention. And I really want to commend Weave. That is truly their intention. I, I talked to their internal team. I've been working with them and they're like, we just really want to empower people. We really want them to have these tools. Maybe they went to business school, maybe they didn't. That's an example of a true value add. That's an example of a true value add. So today, the next time you have an interaction with a customer, you write a marketing message, whatever it is that you do, Know that you've got, make one intention clear. One intention clear. <laughs> I'm just really excited about the next gift if it will show up. Uh, I don't understand the question and I won't respond to it. This is Lucille Bluth. <laughs> um, another reason why being clear helps people care about what you have to say and sell is that people are just confused. They don't understand the question and they won't respond to it. You're doing this Instagram post or you're doing an email that has two or three or four different asks, two or three or four different intentions because you're trying to shove everything in there. And when people are confused, they just shut down. When people are confused, they just shut down. If you've got small kids in your life, I want you to think when you start barking orders at them or somebody starts barking orders at you, what do you do? <laughs> right? You just start to shut down. So that's another reason why being clear is going to help people care about what you have to say and sell because they know what you're talking about. They're able to grab onto that message. And the third tip for how to get people to care about what you have to say and sell is you have to be consistent. This is really hard for me because I have a lot of things I wanna say, and after I say them one time, I'm bored. And so, <laughs> I'll give you an example of this, of consistency throughout your message. Um, I've got a, a podcast, I've got my podcast, Awesome with Allison, and I have a second podcast I started last year called Business Therapy, where I coach business owners, because I know what's ever holding you back in your life is holding you back in your business. And I had this awesome caterer, his name is John, he caters all of my events, and I had him in, and I was asking him about his message. Is it clear, John, what do you believe in? And, and he said, um, I really believe in sustainability. I believe in community. And then I went to his Instagram and guess what his Instagram profile said? Beehive catering, get your grub on. And I'm like, John, that is not a consistent message. Hey, just a second you're doing a really good job <laughs> and you've got a lot going on and I absolutely 100% understand how things like your Instagram profile and the message in there slip through the cracks. But it's also a free, easy way to go and check. A free, easy thing to do is just to go through your different messages and check, am I being consistent? So here's your tips for being consistent. And the, let's see. People are overstimulated, oversaturated with ideas, and over it. Can I get a yes? Yes! If you feel this. People are overstimulated, oversaturated with ideas, and honestly, just over it. When we're not consistent, we just become more of that oversaturation and more of that overstimulation. We need authenticity and engagement more than ever before, and not the buzzy type of authenticity and engagement. 
where literally our intention is to be authentic and our attention is to engage, right there, that intention takes away the authenticity. You need to care about what you're saying. You need to be clear. And when you are consistent, you can break through people being overstimulated and oversaturated. Because this is one of my favorites. <laughs> from SNL, the Californians. Like this is the face of most people who are, are just scrolling through on social media or thumbing through your ads, right? Or walking into your bricks and mortar store like, uh, uh, I don't even know where I just was, right? So being consistent and sharing that message time and time again really can break through that saturation. So again, I told you, I just wanted you to have clear takeaways today. Something that you can implement today. Ask yourself this question, am I being consistent? So in order to be consistent, you need to say what you believe over and over. So like my example, my friend John, um, who owns the catering company, I said, John, you believe in sustainability, you believe in community, I need to see that on your website, I need to see that on your marketing pieces, I need to hear that when I have an interaction with your customer service people, I wanna hear you talking about the different um, takeaway container options, I wanna hear you talking about farm to table and the things that truly matter to you, not because they're buzzwords, but because they genuinely strike a chord with you. And John immediately perked up and was excited to revamp his marketing. And I know the reason why is because, let's go back to tip number one, he truly cares about those things. He truly cares about those things. So then he was connecting and engaging with his business in a new way, which in turn is gonna reflect and bring new people to engage with him. So um, if you can think of a catchy way to say these things, even better, that's something I do. Guys, I used to write greeting cards uh, for Hallmark cards. I did an inter internship there. So these are some of my rallying cries. These are some of my messages. Um, insight is cute, but action is drop dead gorgeous. We don't wanna be cute. We want to be drop dead gorgeous, okay? And anyone who attends my workshops and listens to me teach live, they can like shout that back at me. And then another one of my messages, I say at the end of every single one of my podcasts, and you'll notice I said part of it at the beginning of this, only you can be you and you're already as awesome as you need to be. I walk by and people will say, you're already as awesome as you need to be. People are, in, I'm, I have invited them by sharing what I care about by being clear about it and being consistent, I've invited them to share that message with me and they can repeat it back to me. And another one of my messages is, don't look back, you're not going that way. And that's something I wanna leave with you today is, does it serve you and your business and your team to beat yourself up over the things you may or may have not been doing? No, don't look back. If you've kind of like, been in a place emotionally or physically, or I don't know your life, but if you've been in a place where you've had to take a step back from caring and, and taking these steps, that's great, who cares? When you know better, you do better. And that's what we learn from Maya Angelou. Okay, so we've got our three tips, again, for how to get people to care about what you have to say and sell. You've gotta be, you gotta care, you gotta be clear, and you need to be consistent. You wanna invite, feature and encourage people to sing that rallying cry. Okay, so that's, this is how I love to use um, user generated content, is by featuring people who are singing that rallying cry. And again, that just shows people an example. So you can do this in a medical office by you know, sharing um, different wins you're having in the office, by inviting people to know what it is you guys care about, by inviting people and telling people what you believe. You can do this in your marketing materials, you can do it in your customer service interactions. There's nowhere you can't do it. That's why this is so good. I'm so excited for you to have it. Okay, let's, let's see what's next, I don't even know. <laughs> Okay, this is my rallying cry. This is why, uh, this is my personal rallying cry. And this is why I do what I do. And I want you to ask yourself if this resonates with you in any way. This is from Viktor Frankl, who is a concentration camp survivor, a psychologist, and an author, and he says this. For the world is in a bad state and will become worse still unless each of us does our best. Don't just build a business, impact the world. And you wanna know what's gonna happen? You're gonna make more money. You're gonna have better, awesome, 
fun, loyal customers and clients who believe what you believe. Share what you care about. Say what you care about. Don't, you don't have to share your whole life. You don't have to be as open and vulnerable as me. Don't use that as an excuse. Don't use that as an excuse. You don't have to present all flamboyantly <laughs> the way I present to show people that you care. You being exactly you can do all of these things and none of them are gonna cost you any additional money. And the reason why it matters is because let's take like a global stance for a minute, just a global perspective. The world is in a bad state. Let's all do our best. My daughter was just trying out for the spelling bee and she was like, I don't really care, she's nine. I don't really care, like I didn't try that hard and my husband and I were both just like, we don't care if you can't spell anything, you just show up and you try your best. You try your best. The results truly don't matter. A growth mindset, this conference is about growth. A growth mindset versus a fixed mindset has been scientifically proven to be one that achieves more, does more, accomplishes more because you are more able to take failures and setbacks, learn from them and grow through them. And that's why this growth summit really matters and that's what true growth is. So I want you to take this and then let's, let's hear from George Patton real quick. A good plan violently executed now is better than a perfect plan executed next week. Did you get one idea from me or any of the other speakers that you can violently execute now rather than waiting to make it perfect? I want you to just stop and think about that and I really want to invite you to, as you try to help people to care about more about what you have to say and sell, to think about what your personal definition of success is. What it is you want to contribute to this world. Maybe you do a lot of this work, maybe it's been a minute since you've done it and because I've had so much fun with you guys, I want to offer you a tool that I give away in my monthly coaching program and I'm going to give it to you guys for free and it's a success action plan. Because when you have success, like, you're going to be feeling like this, right? And that's the importance of, of, of making a plan and really sitting down to think about it. So the way that you guys can access that is you can go to the allisonshow.com forward slash weave and you're going to get that download, that success action plan. And it's actually an audio, a guided audio. You want to hear me talk some more? Eh, eh. It's a guided audio of me talking and, and a download you can fill out to help you create your own definition of success so that you can tap in to what you care about so that you can better share what you care about so that you can attract people who believe what you believe. Make more money. I love making money. Making money is awesome. This is not just about feelings. Remember, branding is a value add and you are going to feel free from the algorithm. You're going to feel free from the chains and bondage of this transactional business when you start adding more value into the work that you're doing. I want to thank you guys so much for your time today. And also, I hope you get this free action plan. Um, if you enjoyed this and it was beneficial, I have my, my social media tags at the bottom there. I genuinely would love to hear what you took away from this. I'd love to see how you're implementing it. Um, Allison's Brand School is my business-centered uh, account where we give away you know advice all the time and downloads. You can find us there. But mostly, I just want to say thanks to Weave. I want to say thanks for giving me yet another Another opportunity to share something I really believe in and something I really care about and you guys are doing an incredible job and I'll leave it the way I always leave it only you can be you and you're already as awesome as you need about <laughs> I couldn't even say it. you're already as awesome as you need to be so why don't you get out there and do something with all of the gifts and talents you have